Hi everyone, uh, so welcome back, uh, Jackal44 here, just wanted to uh, drop you a new video for Rocket League. Now, uh, firstly I will say for anyone who does follow me on my Apex content, do not worry, I do plan to certainly do some, there's a lot going on there, and I do plan to most certainly uh, do that. Uh, but for this video, this is all about the Dominus GT. Now, firstly, people were going to say, oh, the Dominus GT, yeah, that's a pretty rubbish car, it's pretty underwhelming, um, and a lot of people have the opinion that it's a very unpopular car and very useless uh, but actually to be honest it's actually my favorite car now there are a couple of reasons uh, one is because it looks like a uh, of course a Dodge Viper which is a pretty damn cool car um, and you'll see it of course in muscle cars in lots of uh, car films Fast and Furious all that type of stuff um, but actually in Rocket League it is actually a pretty damn good vehicle as well and that's kind of why I wanted to sort of showcase a couple of goals showcase a match that I'd had with my friend JHD and then just kind of talk about it in the background as well um, but do let me know your opinions and your comments of course below because you know at the end of the day uh, everyone has varying opinions and I'm sure some of you are going to say ah no it's a trash car but actually it's really good so firstly basically the reasons is is, is that it is underrated mainly because of course it is uh, rather outshone by the much popular and more popular uh, car the Dominus its counterpart um, now with the Dominus and the Dominus GT to be quite honest they do take a little bit of time to get kind of used to um, and that is something that I think that is a big thing um, we do find that uh, you know like with any vehicle it does take a little bit of time to get used to but if you play with it all the time funnily enough you do find that actually it's very good now um, the actual Dominus GT does have apparently according to various people a similar hitbox to the Dominus which is surprising because yeah it looks actually very different in looks um, and the shape of it you, you just wouldn't think that it has a similar hitbox but apparently it does but for some reason the Dominus is just more popular um, the Dominus GT right okay firstly it's a very good car if you you've got very good mechanics within Rocket League and you, you know how to play the game then you're going to actually find that this car is really good now what I find is is I mean like my mechanics you know at the end of the day I'm still learning the game so you know there are things where although I play with like the Fennec I play with Octane sometimes not maybe as much but I do um, and the normal Dominus I play a lot and even the Insidio which is another car that I did use quite a fair bit for a long time and have dropped off a little bit on it because there's just so many cars to kind of play with uh, but the GT is a car that I've always gone back to now I mean at the moment I think it's my highest car for wins uh, I have about 520 wins on it or something like that and I stopped playing with it for a fair while just because there was always other vehicles to play with and things like that now my mechanics are okay um, there are things that I can definitely be better at like defending as you can kind of see uh, in the actual proper highlight for some reason the first bit skipped but yeah uh, I can definitely do better in regards to defending and my aerial still needs some work as well but the Dominus GT actually does have a really good hitbox um, and it has a kind of like a just a, a way of hitting some really good shots if you get that kind of backflip shot you jump before hitting the ball to get more power uh, if you kind of like you time your shots I tend to use a uh, car cam for my dribbling and just what I'm used to um, and like I say I've been playing this game for probably about nine months now something like that so you know there are always things that uh, I can do better and that uh, JHD just is able to do better than me because you know he does go into practice a bit more and I don't really take the time to kind of do that which I obviously should and I'd recommend anyone to kind of do just because you know the better you get at the game the more practice the better you're going to get at kind of just the mechanics but going back to Dominus GT it does have a very very good way of getting some good power within shots um, actually it's it's actually pretty pretty damn decent um maybe not a defending <laughs> like that but that's just me actually as a player more than, than the car but the actual car itself has a very very good way of kind of just getting those surprise things and also you know because people know it's a, a less popular car sometimes people take that for granted and they don't really take into account that maybe the player's skill level is much higher than they expect you know they see a Dominus GT and they probably a lot of people just go oh he's a noob well you know, I can play newbie sometimes. I have bad games, like we all do, like that, where you just get a pinch and it goes into goal. Hmm, could have been better with that one. But, you know, however, uh, generally speaking, you know, I like to think that most of the time I do play pretty decently um, and it's kind of like one of those things where people take that for granted. Now, this is a, a car that definitely has its hidden debts. 
power. It definitely can get some very, very good power in the shots, which is a basically a bit like the Insidio. Uh, as you can sort of see there, jumped up, aerial sort of air rolled into it, got a good amount of power. Yeah, I mean, like, there was no one jumping up at the same time, I suppose, so, of course, it's going to be a little bit easier to do. However definitely a really really good thing so let me know what you guys think about the car because it would be interesting to sort of hear some hear some feedback you know have you guys ever tried it if you haven't i would definitely recommend giving it a go because it is a very very good vehicle uh, to kind of play with and just play around with and just you know generally kind of have a bit of fun with because let's face it i mean you know if you can't have fun in rocket league uh, you can't really kind of say that you're going to enjoy the game and yeah we could all play serious i mean obviously that is a big thing you know it's a very competitive game uh, lots and lots of uh, toxic people are what we find uh, in the game and I know that may sound silly but people don't sometimes get that like our, our little team name is a bit of a joke uh, two and a half sweats is basically my two friends that are sweaty and me that's the half because I'm not nearly as sweaty as them and I don't try to be so you know little things like that just kind of uh, little jokes but people sometimes take it for granted that you're being bragging and saying how good you are and stuff um, and there's a lot of toxicity which is a shame um, but yeah, like I say, I mean, like with the car, very, very, very good car. And it's definitely worth giving a try. Now, if you've never played it, actually give it a go because it is actually a lot, lot, lot better than you'd expect. Uh, it does take a bit of getting used to. I think that's probably the biggest thing is, is that a lot, a lot of people want to take the time in learning a new vehicle. Uh, they want to stick to what they're used to, which I can understand. Takes a bit of time there. But realistically, it's like, well, you know what? Why not just kind of play around with it? Give it a go and kind of see if you like it. Um, so I think that that's the main sort of parts I'm going to give for this particular video. I know it's a bit of a short one. Um, you know, tends to be just one of those things where I don't want to talk on for just the sake of it. But there's the rest of the match, which was actually a really, really interesting match. This is where I'm playing with my Dominus, of course, my Dominus GT. Um, and my friend's playing, I think, with the Octane. And of course, uh, it tends to be, it tended to be actually one hell of a good game. Um, and there's a couple of other goals that are scored by my Dominus GT at the end. So watch out for that. Uh, the only other things I'll say before I go is, is that um, I've linked in the description about the fireworks scam uh, that I was can. It's kind of like a strike or cert scam really, but works a lot of times with things like fireworks or other things with certificates on it. Uh, if you're not aware of that, of that particular scam and you want to check it out, just make sure then obviously do check the description because it's all linked in there for you and obviously you know the more warning you've got the more you can kind of protect yourselves against things like that because it's very frustrating to be scammed like i was apart from that if you want to drop any ideas about what other things i could do rocket league videos about uh, or if you're an apex fan as well as the rocket league then of course ideas about apex videos would always be good as well because i do as i say plan to post some of those as well uh, but that being said that's pretty much it if you want to subscribe and help me to get to the goal of 150 subscribers uh, as soon as possible then like i said i will be doing a uh, giveaway and i'll work out what kind of thing i can give away and, and what kind of thing would be realistic for people um so do you know help me out in that way as well but apart from that that's it um i shall see you in the next video thank you very much if you did watch this far uh you have a great rest of the day evening or night you take care cheers now bye bye